Alright, so let's see how you can get offline installer for Mozilla Firefox. Now, by offline installer, what I mean is a particular file, mostly a .msi or .exe if you are on Windows and a .app if you are on Mac or might be different um, extensions if you are on several other Linux or some other operating systems. Um, so this file basically allows you to install an application on your computer without the need for the internet. So in a way if you have this file you can have the application installed without having to connect your computer to the internet if it is not already connected to the internet. So this is good in a way because if you have to reinstall a particular application every now and then or if you have multiple computers, multiple systems where you want to install your application, say you have four or five computers at your home, your brothers, your sisters, your parents, your own computer and so on or if you're working in an office where you have to manage a network of several computers and don't have time to go on installing one by one um, okay even with this you have to install one by one but you don't have to wait as much the time when it is downloading from internet and plus downloading from internet each and every time is obviously going to use your bandwidth it is going to block bandwidth for other activities so that's why it is quite helpful having an offline installer and that's a bit of description on offline installer so let's see how you can get it for Firefox um, one way to do that is okay I'm using Internet Explorer for this particular tutorial because I'm assuming that if you don't have Firefox on your system um, Internet Explorer would be there because it obviously comes pre-installed with your system so uh, one way to do that download is go to ftp.mozilla dot org so once you go over here um, you can okay you can go to pub and then you have to search for firefox now search for releases So notice the link um, as we are progressing through the directory we are going inside inside in the FTP. Now here you have to search for latest um, whichever will be the latest version will be automatically put into the latest folder. Now this might not look like a directory but it is a directory. So if you just go to latest it is in a way a sim link uh, to the latest directory. So it takes you to latest over here you can select if you want it for Linux 64-bit, uh, Linux 32-bit, Mac, Win32. I am going to go for Win32 because I am using Windows. And over here I am going to select ENUS, that's the language, English US. So there you go. I am going to post this link obviously into the description just to be, just so that if you want to go direct to this link. And the good thing is that you can always use this link because whichever will be the latest will be put at this particular location by Mozilla itself, by the Firefox team. So you don't have to worry and go on clicking one by one on all those links as I did. So from here, uh, Stub is again the online installer. Uh, this only has the file to start installation on your computer but then it will download all the prerequisites from the Mozilla servers. And this one, which looks a slightly bigger program, it looks around 39 MB. This is the offline installer. If you just click on that, Mozilla uh, Firefox Setup 34.0.5, that is the version right now. It will ask you to save uh, as it is doing over here. And I can do save as. And I can save it on my desktop and have it saved. This will be the setup. I already have it. So I'm not going to resave it. You can see it is... 37.7 MB from ftp.mozilla.org Now this was the harder way to do it. The alternate way obviously is just go to google.com and just google it. Uh, offline installer for Firefox and there you go. You have it. So if I just go to this particular link straight away it takes me to that link which I just showed you which I went into one by one step by step. So there you go. So that's pretty much it for this particular video guys. If you have any comments, any recommendations, any suggestions on my videos, on my video recordings, please do share them in comment section. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video and other videos that I have created so far. And thanks for watching.
thank you very much stay tuned for more videos